Um, well, I turned 20 um, on February 7th, um, but it was during Christmas break that I was like, man, I don't want to do the traditional break or breakfast and then probably dinner and then movie or probably like the club, you know, like people our age And I didn't want to do that, at least not this year. <laughs> So I was like, I'm gonna do something different because two decades is symbolic of just, especially when you've been through a lot. Two decades making it to this point is powerful. And it's a beautiful thing that should be celebrated. So I wanted to do something that would help me not only celebrate my birthday, but allow others to, you know, give back as well. So a way that I felt that I should impact my community around me would be to pass out um, what is it, uh, paper bag, snack, you know, like lunch bags to um, DC, the DC homeless population. Uh, it came, the idea was sparked when one of my friends told me that he does it sometimes with um, a community service or organization that he works with. And I was like, well, why don't we put that on like a large scale and get Howard students involved and just see what it becomes. And the same day that I dropped my site, or that I released and launched my site, I announced the Paperback 20 project and it got an overwhelmingly amazing response and it was it was an incredible experience. Yeah, um I feel like well first off I I'm a, I'm, I think on a different path. A lot of people don't understand me sometimes but um, I think it was when I think I was reading um, Kenny Burns' book, The Dream is Real, and he was basically just talking about how, you know, he, through everything that he's been able to accomplish, he's still so thankful. And he's kept that mindset of, you know, no matter if somebody shakes your hand and, you know, is calling you the best in the game or whatever, he's still so thankful and he has that type of mindset. And I have that type of mindset. And I've always been the type of person who wanted to give back and who wanted to, you know, pay it forward. You know, I told my mom and my grandma about it, and they were like, oh, this is, this is pretty cool. So, you know, just getting their blessing on it and seeing how they felt about it and hearing them say that it could make such a difference in the community, I think that was really what inspired me to move power forward with it because I felt like this could be planting a seed for something greater in the future. So, and that's all what I'm all about. So, yeah. Absolutely. I'm trying to figure out, I don't want to do it monthly yet, but I think that right now semesterly would kind of be cool. That way we can grow it and then it'll grow into be, being something when I'm far beyond my Howard career and, you know. So yeah, right now I'm just really trying to figure out how we're going to tackle it next year on a larger scale. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> that's a good word. Um, but I, I would say... Take advantage of the, the social media that you do have, even if it's not, um, even if you don't have a lot of followers, still put it out there because you never know who will share it, who has a lot of followers. People are connected. Like if you pay attention to who you follow, people will see what you um, what you're doing. Especially if you shoot out, you know, with um, what is it, Instagram DM now, you can shoot out the message to people who are influential, and you never know they might share it. So that and. Um, I would suggest getting like hand bills made where you can um, pass them out around campus and things like that or even if you're not in school, pass them out in church or have people do it for you. Just in your community, you know, get people involved any way you can and it just so happened that social media was what I've been known, you know, what, what I'm true to so I felt that that could be the best way for me to do it. But of course, you know, we kind of got off of that and went into doing like tables and stuff. But you know, that's what I would suggest. Just remain a game changer. I'm not, I, I think I have, I've grown beyond the point where I'm trying to please people. And I think that that's the first step. You have to understand that who you are can change. You know, you, you have the power to change the game, whatever game you're in. And I feel like if I just keep on throwing out dope new concepts and sharing them and, you know, just staying true to what I do, 
while at the same time evolving within my own, you know, design and just growing as a designer and growing as a person. I feel that that's how I keep my name out there um, and remaining humble. That's the main thing. I'm not trying to burn any bridges. I keep building connections. I'm trying to get. I get search for new clients all the time and you know I'm just so I, I'm like I said earlier I'm just really thankful so I feel like just by growing and letting that growth be shown through you know whatever I do that's how I keep it out there so. well I, I know my whole goal isn't to be just a graphic designer and I know it sounds kind of weird but I'm, I'm not just trying to be somebody sitting behind a computer screen, you know, putting together people's thoughts. I want to be a creative director, I want to, because I do a lot of different things. I do production, sometimes I sing, sometimes I act. I do a lot of, you know, I feel like, and it's not to sound arrogant or, or anything like that, it's just that when you have a lot of skills, you don't want to just focus in on one area. It's very hard for people like me. So I, I want to be a creative director where I can kind of put those things together and also increase my knowledge of all those different fields to create something much larger than myself. So that's one of my goals. Well, that's my ultimate goal, just to be able to share my work on a larger scale. So. Right now, nothing too major, but um, I just did um, a few graphics for um, a few Howard campaigns, one of them being um, I Can I and Leighton Watson's campaign shift. I did the infographic. You probably can see it somewhere. Um, and I did one for another guy who's running. If you see a flyer around campus with a guy with fire in his hand, I was me. So, you know. But I have, I'm relaunching my site uh, soon because I have a new kind of direction that I wanted to take. It was sudden, but I had to share it. So, that's something new, I guess. Chase him. Chase, just chase. I mean, it sounds so cliche, but I promise you, like, if you understand that who you are is significant in some way, I don't care if you have confidence issues. I grew up with confidence issues, and I, I never thought that what I had to offer would be impactful at all, because I didn't know what I had to offer. But it, it takes experience, and it takes time, patience. Um, understand that once you get to one point, don't become complacent, just keep on growing and have a yearn for, or have a desire to, you know, advance yourself and continue to learn. And just be a lifelong learner and chase your dreams with a passion and when people see you doing it, I promise it will, it will blow up right in front of your face and it'll just be so an amazing thing. Just remain thankful, um, remain humble because I feel like those people who forget exactly where they come from are the people who fall very shortly after they feel like they become successful. So, you know, chase with the passion, remain humble, be you. Alright, thank you, good sir. <laughs>